Welcome ladies and gentlemen back to Trailmakers. Now today I'm gonna be building a car that is afraid of just about everything. So afraid in fact that at the mere sight of something being close to it, it's just gonna blow itself up because it just can't deal with the pressure. So for those of you who sometimes feel like you want to explode when you're surrounded by too many people, this is gonna be the car for you. Now this idea was inspired by the fact that almost every single time I use a creation that is capable of blowing itself up somehow, I figure out how to do that. And I think some people actually commented some similar ideas about building a car that blows itself up. But um, this car is basically going to be covered in sensors. So from any direction, if it gets close to any object, it is, it's just gonna blow up. And the way we're gonna do that is using an indestructible seat because it's fun to get launched in an indestructible seat. And then of course, the tank cannon. Now what I figure might be really fun to do is have the cannons actually shoot downwards. So that way not only will the vehicle be completely destroyed and exploded, but it'll hopefully launch our seat and our driver just up into the air and away from the situation entirely. Which I guess is kind of what you would want to happen if you were really uncomfortable in the situation you were in. I mean, this thing is basically gonna be a hyper destructive ejection seat. You know what? Before we build the car, let's just give a quick test to see how this works. Oh, perfect. Oh, that's gonna be perfect. I mean, we're gonna hopefully be going forward at the same time, so we're not just gonna go straight back up and land ourselves back in the same situation we were in with zero protection. But we'll see how that goes when we get there. So now for the fun part, we have to actually build a car and then make it able to detect anything within a certain radius around it, which is gonna be a tedious process, assigning all the values to a whole range of sensors. All right, let's get building.
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I spent way more time on designing this thing than I expected to, and I haven't even gotten to the sensor part yet. So I just built the car, and this is what the car looks like. It's a weird kind of build. I just was going with the flow of whatever happened, and I decided to try to do this weird air intake concept where we have these like uh, air intake pathways that go on the left and right of the seat using those curve blocks and they go straight up into some air intake things as well as some tail fins for stability. I don't know why I decided to do it that way. I just thought it'd be an interesting thing to try and it made me spend a lot more time on this thing than I expected to. So now we actually have to make this thing afraid of everything because right now it's, a, it's got a little bit too much confidence it's just going around this map all nice and uh, just not explodey. So I'm gonna slap a bunch of sensors on this thing, apply those sensors to the cannons underneath, and we're gonna see how fun it is to drive around the map when we're about to explode at any second. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I think our car of social anxiety is ready, but right now I have the sensors on distance of one meter. So it's not gonna be that big of a deal to drive around. So I figure what we can do is gradually increase the social anxiety of the car. And by social, I just mean like the presence of anything, not like vehicles or people, of course. So if we get too close to this wall, we should explode. All right, well, all right, how how short is one meter distance here? All right, come on. Just, uh, there we go. <laughs> it works. <laughs> oh, it works so good too. Oh man, can I go up this without detecting it? I can. Okay. Oh, this is gonna give me social anxiety. <laughs> This is gonna be a fun car, especially once we start increasing the distance. I wonder what the- I don't even know what the max distance on the sensors are. Can this thing do the loop without exploding? Or even just at all? Alright, good so far. Yeah, check that out. Yeah, this thing ain't so bad on its own. Uh oh. <laughs> so I have, uh, four- six sensors on it. I have two on each side and then one in the front and one in the back, which actually makes it not too difficult to change the settings and everything. So yeah, if I just, if I just go over here, hold on a sec, and then I just slowly back up, we should, yeah, there we go. Okay, so now that we know that it works, let's actually start increasing, <laughs> let's start increasing the distance of these sensors. I'm gonna go from one and we're gonna bump it up. Wait, what's the maximum? 50 is the maximum. So let's go to 10. We're gonna go 10 times the distance. So we are 10 times more ancient. Hills. Now it is afraid of hills. <laughs> All right, here we go. I really, I have no idea how di how far 10 meters is in this game world. Whoa, oh, I think I detected that that road sign was a little bit too close or one of those road signs Wait, what? What did I detect there? Repair Okay, all right, we're good We're good. I think all right. So now I think these road signs are gonna trigger it Yep too close got too close to the road signs It's gonna come to a point in which we're not even gonna be able to spawn this thing in because it's gonna detect stuff so far away like, yeah, it's gonna detect this rock at this spawn point. Can we even drive? Wait. What do we detect there? What's scaring you, car? Is it the ground from the, the suspension tilting? That could be a thing. All right, can we make it through this archway? <laughs> All right, we made it through the archway. Ten meters is actually a lot, <sighs> a lot more difficult than I thought it was gonna be. I, I, <laughs> I might have to make a version of this with no suspension. Okay, now this thing has absolutely no suspension, so I'm hoping it's going to be a lot more stable, <laughs> a lot less anxious. We don't want this thing to be afraid of the ground, okay? We don't want it to be so bad that it's afraid of the ground. We need this to be able to drive on the ground without exploding, out of fear. And, uh, I think, I think the no suspension was a good choice. So yeah, uh, let's figure out how far away 10 meters is by slowly driving up to this rock wall here. 
<laughs> okay, that was actually closer than I thought it was going to be. Let's bump it up to 20 and then see if we can have a, a, a good time. Man, I'm worried that once we, if we get up to 50, we're not even going to be able to spawn anywhere without immediately detecting something. Okay, 20 meters. I think that was me. I think I triggered the car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot if I walk in front of it. <laughs> oh, man. My own car is afraid of me. Okay, here we go. The signs. I forget about the signs every single time. All right, this is not going to work. This is this hill is going to get in the way. Yep. Too much hill. All right, we're good. We're not good anymore. It must be the ground. Okay, here we go. With 20 me... What I was trying to say is that with 20 meters, I'm going to attempt to drive through this archway. Yeah, just the shaking of the vehicle. There's no way 50 meters is going to even be drivable. All right. The shaking of the vehicle may, like just tilts the sensor slightly and they hit the ground, I think. All right, here we go. Can we make it through? All right. That wasn't bad. Okay, we made it through. There's just a little bit of a lip on the ground there. Maybe I should move the sensors up? Can I? Okay, all sensors have been moved up by one block, which should make me less likely to be afraid of the ground and be able to drive around a lot easier. At least at 20 meters. At 50 meters, it's going to be... Uh... A lot of that happening. Okay, now let's see. With the raised sensors, can we get through this archway? I think we did it. Oh, that ground is still kind of high. Oh, we got it. Oh, we got the ground. Oh, man. It's like it's like driving on eggshells, except the eggshells are bombs. I just I just want a flat map now. Like, this just makes me want a flat map with a bunch of, like, obstacles and things. The uneven ground here is just not doing me any favors. Okay, we're driving. We're actually driving. We're not... Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. We're not exploding. I feel like I can feel the anxiety that the car feels. Like when something's getting too close, I'm like, stay away. You stay away from me. No interaction. I do not. You stay away from me, Mr. Rock. I don't want to talk to you. Oh, <laughs> let me just find a nice quiet spot by myself where nobody's around. Oh, man. All right. We're going to hit this rock. This rock's definitely too close. Yep. <laughs> All right. You know what? Let's just go for it. Let's bump it all the way up to 50 and see if we can survive just to... Can we even stand to be here in this world? Okay, place your bets now. Will this thing be able to drive anywhere without exploding? Okay, already I'm impressed. We're here. We're alive. We haven't exploded yet. We're at 50 meters. I have no idea. Like, that's the thing. Like, now if I explode, I'm honestly not even going to know what triggered it. It could have been the ground 50 meters away. It could be just like any number of things. Like that ramp. I'm honestly surprised that that ramp isn't exploding. Did the ramp explode us? I want to test this now. I want to, I want to be the thing that triggers the car. I want to see how far away I can stand. Oh wait, does the car... I don't even know if the car will detect me to be honest. Because I might be too short. Okay, so far so good. I think I'm lined up with a sensor. This has to be 50 meters. It, oh, there we go. <laughs> I got too close. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. I just think that the mere acceleration of the car. Yeah, the acceleration of the car tilts us too much. So I'm just going to get rid of like a lot of the engines. And I hope this is going to give us just a nice more controlled acceleration. I don't know where I can- I- I can't go over there. Where do I go? What was it? Was it the rock? It might have been the rock. I think it was the rock. Oh! Oh, wait. How about the aircraft carrier? How much more isolated can you get? Yes! This is perfect! We could probably- Drive around here all day. Okay, you know what I think is ideal for this car? 50 meters is obviously extreme. You just can't drive anywhere. I think 5 meters might make sense. Like, if you actually get too close to something, rather than crash, you're just going to explode. But you should be a you should be capable of driving around pretty well. Like, how close can we get to the sign? Yeah, see, I think that is a good distance there. So let's see how much speed can we pick up 
and uh, end up exploding and how far are we gonna launch ourselves? I'm just gonna do my best to drive around this map and see what happens. Can we make it through here? Five meters? Yeah. Oh, nope. <laughs> Look at that distance. Okay, I don't know about you guys, but I think we've tortured this car enough. Leave a like if you can identify with the anxiety that this car feels inside. I know I definitely can in certain social situations. And uh, let me know if you have any ideas on other Trailmakers content that you'd like to see on the channel. If you missed any of the previous episodes, go ahead and check out this playlist right here. It has hundreds of Trailmakers videos for you to watch with all kinds of crazy ideas. I hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.